Okay, our room is not set up with gas jets, so we have different ways of setting up and using flames on the labs that we're going to need flames. So we have a can of flammable gas, it's butane, so it's not quite the same as the stuff that comes out of the front desk demo or in the chem lab next door. That's methane, this is butane. This would be the stuff that's in cigarette lighters. It will still burn and it will get pretty hot. Notice I have clamped this thing to the table, okay? Because the last thing we need is for this thing to be lit and all of a sudden it get knocked over and be rolling around somewhere on fire, okay? Not gonna happen. So every time we do something with flame, this container itself will be directly attached with the clamp here. It'll be attached at the top or if you have the really wide clamps, you can actually grab onto the can and then it'll be clamped to the table so it can't be rolling around. All right. Now, like on a typical burner, this ring right here is what adjusts the air. There are little holes drilled into the side to let air in. These are much easier to light if you cover them up. Okay, so you just turn that up so that's covered. Okay, the knob down here is what lets the gas, and you'll know when it's on because you'll hear it. Okay, you may use a match or a striker, whichever one you happen to be most effective with. If you're going to use the match, you strike it and light it before you have the gas on, okay? And you bring the flame to the side. You can tell I have the vents on today, okay? And you don't have your head above it. All right, you notice that's a very blue flame at the bottom, but it's very yellow at the top, okay? That's not an effective flame. So I'm gonna roll this down and all of a sudden it looks much more less than a candle flame. This looks more like what you expect when you see a Bunsen burner. If you keep going down, you get that little roar, okay? And the part, that cone right there, that's where it's really hot, okay? Now, to turn it off, all you're gonna do is turn this knob, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, make sure it is well sealed off. All right, I'm going to reset it so the holes are covered. I'm gonna use this. Okay, this is a striker. There is a piece of flint on there. If you ever read Hatchet, you know, the kid found a piece of flint rock and he used it to make sparks and start fire. When the flint wears out, these can be replaced and you put a new one on, okay? All right, so that goes in there. This part is all rough. And the goal is that when you do this, you get sparks, okay? So you're pushing down, but you also make sure you push in so that you get it to spark, okay? If all you're doing is pushing across, you're not gonna get much spark. You gotta make sure there's some tension going down and across. Okie doke. Again, come up. Oh, for crying out oh, Too much, there we go. Too much air with the striker, it doesn't light. Okay. So now I adjust my flame. And now I'm back to my happy blue flame for melting glass or whatever it is we need to use, you know, catch magnesium on fire, or whatever. All right, that's how we're gonna use our type of butane burners for heat. Again, turn it off. Roll that up for the next person's always nice. And there you are. <laughs>